Do you know there's choices that never go back? Have you ever received the calling of God? Hi, I'm Pastor Riches. Today, I'll talk about an irreversible calling. We have many examples in the Bible about a lot of individuals who try to resist the Divine Commission. As a result of, they realized what a difficult it was, and they wanted free from God's calling. Some of them once accepted the responsibility, but time later they tried to resign, as the prophet Jeremiah did in the chapter 20, verse 7 through 9. Jeremiah complained before God, thanks to he endured many punishments because of preach and prophesy the word of the Lord. This mission brought dreadful consequences to Jeremiah's ministry and also worn out his public image before his friends and his society. Obviously, all of this wish is style of life. The prophet Jeremiah confronted several bad resources as a response for exercising his prophetic ministry. The reason why the prophet many times try resigns or at least flee from the divine command. Record that Jeremiah spent a lot of times in prison. He suffered weeps, torture, mobs, his own friends forgot him and accused him too. All this situation forced him wish his mother should never give him birth besides he cursed his birthday. The question is what a frustration and depression he must have felt to parallel this statement. Let's look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 14 through 18. Since the beginning Jeremiah tried dogs to call him because when God notified him about his mission, Jeremiah called himself a child. Where he expresses his lack of experience and unmasherness in the ministry. That's why the Lord of course gave him an overwhelming response in the chapter 1 verse 4 through 8. Nowadays, there are a lot of people like Jeremiah. Some of them consider themselves lack of death and incapable of carrying out the commission ordered by God. Others resist endure the high price and almost unbearable process. Because of this, many of them reject the calling and others once they realize what a difficult it is immediately they pretend to resign as soon as possible. Elijah was chased by Jezebel. He hid into cave. He was very afraid of her. The prophet was recording his ministries being worthy. By the way, he asked God dispense of his life and retire from the calling by all means. Let's look at the book of 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 4 through 9, to verify this. All of us, we tried hide into our own cave, fleeing from our fears, but we often forget that the calling is irreversible, as the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 29. We must endure the process through the time at any cost and nor by means to the end. Thank you for watching. God bless you. 
I hope this thought brings you life as mine already. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it, and leave your comments to enhance this Christian community. God bless you. Take care.